Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Mr Thundering here with some rather exciting arcade news which you may possibly have already heard if you're a hardcore Sega arcade racing fan. And that news, as you've probably guessed from the title of this video, is that in the last couple of days Sega have revealed that they're making a new version of Daytona USA. That's right, we're getting Daytona USA 3. I know, right? How unexpectedly awesome is that? Now, I first heard about this a couple of days ago through the BYOAC forum, where a fellow arcade racing nut by the name of Isamu had started a thread which linked to a section on the Arcade Heroes website that seemed to just very casually drop into the end of an article that had looked at a couple of other Sega arcade games that were coming out soon, that Sega had re-obtained the license for Daytona and were planning on bringing back a game called Daytona USA Reloaded. Now I thought that this was going to be the start of a couple of months of speculation about a new Sega arcade game coming out that might have something to do with Daytona, but fucking hell, literally just a couple of days later an official press release came out confirming that not only was a new version of Daytona in the pipeline, but you'd actually be able to play it in two weeks time at the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions. Wow, that just came out of nowhere. So the website SegaBits very helpfully have put up a press release which says about some of the details of this new version of the game, uh, titled Daytona 3 Championship USA, like it. Uh, so the following details are, that's a brand new version of Daytona, three brand new tracks including a recreation of the Daytona International Speedway, three class courses remastered for the modern era, new cars and game modes, a 47 inch LED cabinet, linkable for up to eight players, an in-game camera system, live TV spectator video billboard, based on the original game engine, awesome, and all new party mode for arcade events. So this is all pretty cool stuff, I'm particularly excited about the fact that it's got three brand new courses in it, slightly less excited about the fact that it's got three remastered versions of the original ones because I've played those so many times, do I really need to play them again slightly differently? I don't know, I think three more brand new tracks might have been better, but I'm sure they'll be good fun. I'm also excited about the fact that it says that it's based on the original game engine. I was kind of worried that with like a new Sega arcade game, that they might be tempted to go for like more of a realistic simulation route. Uh, but no, that's awesome. And uh, also, what's interesting as well in the updated bit here, uh, is they say that they're getting as much of the original team back together as they can, including Takanobu Mitsuyoshi on sound, because let's face it, a brand new Daytona game just wouldn't be the same without all the brew, brew skies. I apologise unreservedly for that. So whilst this is all good news so far, there is one thing that I do have a slight concern about, and that is the fact that this is an arcade game. Now you're probably thinking at this point, what are you talking about Alex? That's one of the game's biggest selling points, the fact you can play it in an arcade on a great big 47 inch LED monitor. But let's face it, how often do you go to an arcade anymore? If you're anything like me, then the answer to that will be not very often really. The traditional sorts of arcades that I grew up with are a thing of the past now, and about the only time I'd ever play an arcade game is if I'm going to something like the cinema and I've got a bit of time to kill and I might pop into a bowling alley that's nearby or something like that. As it is, there's already a whole slew of arcade games which haven't been converted to home systems that I'd really like to play at home, such as Chase HQ2 and H2O Overdrive, which look very unlikely at this stage to ever get home ports. And my concern with this new Daytona game is that it might end up staying in the arcade, and I'll maybe get to only play it once or twice and never actually get to experience it properly at home. But hey, I don't want to put a downer on the whole thing. I mean, like the week before last, who would have even thought that we would be talking about a Daytona USA 3 at all? So anyway, what are your feelings on the subject? Are you super excited about the return of one of Sega's greatest racing series ever? Or do you think the King of Speed should have stayed buried in the past? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, I shall bid you all goodbye. I am Mr Thunderwing. If you like the video, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will hopefully catch you all very soon. Bye bye.